asks, can you discuss the thoughts on the use of various commercial refractive premixes, insulative mid to high temp? I can talk to you about my experiences always learning there. I, I haven't, you know, so the various commercial refractories, at least up until recently, they've kind of been regional with a few national players, but they're basically just like in my material sourcing video when I said, you got to go find the suppliers to industry, you know, the people who supply the the forges and the boilers and the mills um, and when you find those guys what you'll find is that they'll have a certain line of refractory and they'll have gotten you know they'll be the distributor in that town for that line there might be if you're in a big industrial town you might have you know E.F. Fowler and I can't remember the names right now but you know you might have a few different suppliers they'll have a few different castable lines and within each line they'll usually have insulative uh, less insulative, you know, high density, high temp, low temp, some various different forms. I haven't tried everything, but what I have tried is I've tried high densities and low densities. My preference is always going to be the low densities. They're castables that I've found. I've never found an ultra low density. They're, even their lowest density is usually a temperature rating of somewhere around 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. And they give the densities in pounds, you know, in, in a weight per volume. So I won't go there. But um, but even the lower density ones tend to actually come out like as hard as the hard fire bricks. They're nowhere near as soft as a lot of the insulative brick builds that I do. So I really prefer the insulative refractories. And I fear, and it, I experienced it in my own, I the first refractories I bought were higher density. And they were much more prone to cracking because of that issue we were talking about earlier where we talked about the higher densities of material sort of conducting the heat through them and being more prone to cracking from heat shock than the lower density more insulative ones so i can't really go too in depth but what i will say is call your refractory supplier ask for their data sheet look at the densities just make sure you're somewhere you know you're not looking at a 2000 degree temperature rating but make sure you're like 2200 degrees or above even 2100 I've done before and that seems plenty safe but anyways somewhere above 20 somewhere above 2000 degrees um, you're probably safe and kind of go for the lower density ones somewhere around that range that's my that's my opinion that's what I've had the best luck with so um, hopefully that helps